120. That's it. I've been paying almost a thousand. Just leaving the airport from the plane to the game okay I timed coming back on my trip to Ethan's basketball game so that's where I'm headed I am headed straight there do not stop do not pass go don't collect the hundred dollars don't go to jail don't whatever whatever they say monopoly don't do none of that you go straight to the game okay so that's what I'm doing this is his very first weekend playing with this new team. So their first games are this weekend. And of course, mom had to be in attendance, okay? You can't miss the first weekend. No, absolutely not. So I am excited about that. I have not seen my baby play since he played on his middle school team. So that's been, that ended in, I wanna say January and here we are April. So yeah, that's where I'm headed to now. All right got invited to two dinners tonight I have to make a decision on which one I'm going to I really need to see which one I was invited to first <laughs> yeah so I need to really see that um so that'll be on my agenda tonight is going out to dinner with the ladies you know a little Sunday fun day get a little cocktail y'all I did not vlog my trip so don't be on the lookout for that I didn't vlog anything. If you follow me on Instagram, then you would have seen the festivities, the stuff that I did, and y'all would have seen that, but I just sometimes like to travel and not pick my camera up. So yeah, that's what I did. But y'all have not eaten anything. All I had was those pretzels and some coffee on the plane. So I'm starving. I'm trying to see, should I eat now? Or should I wait until, no, because after Ethan's game, then they're gonna wanna talk. I need to eat now. I need to eat something now. And I cannot wait to go to the gym tomorrow. This trip, oh my God, I just I ate so much. So much. Because I'm on that shot, it makes you feel like, ugh, ugh, like, you know? So I'm glad to be back home and back on my regular schedule so I can go to the gym and then not be forced to eat and try everything just because I'm out of town, you know? But all right, just checking in with you guys. Welcome to the weekly vlog. We're starting the weekly vlog on a Sunday. So yeah, let's get to it. And my wig slid back about an inch. So I plan on taking this thing off. Let me see if I could do some type of reviving to it. Maybe pull it down because the tan line, y'all probably can't see it, but the tan line is, is tanning. I just came back from vacation and I busted my lip playing basketball. I got elbowed in the face, y'all. And right now Ethan's playing. He got six buckets, but they losing back. So yeah. You need to, mommy. When mommy says stop, you need to. Well, the game ended 47 to 13. Ethan's team lost. But, out of those 13 points, Ethan scored, I think, nine, eight or nine. Yes. So, my baby did extremely well. So, even though it's a defeat, he did great. Okay? The team just needs some help. It's, like I said, this is their very first weekend together. First games of the weekend. So, it's all good. It's always room for growth and improvement, and that will happen as the season goes. So, yeah, Jennifer done got me out the house, out the bed. I was taking the best nap, and she was like, "Let's go get something to eat, friend." I said, "Let's." <laughs> so we at her favorite spot, Happy Crab. Happy Crab, and I don't see her car. I hope I'm at the right location because I don't see her car. Well, I literally don't see her car. Hold on, is she parked on the side of the building? Cause what the hell?
Hello. You said happy crab? Yeah. That's fixed. I don't see your car and I looked in the window. I ain't see you. Okay, I'm about to walk My back in. My car is in the shop. Your car in the shop? Oh, girl. What? I ain't know. Okay, I'm walking in. All right. <laughs> okay, Come on, bye. Go ahead. Bye. We here. I didn't film at the restaurant, but we both just got seafood boil bags. We got the two cluster of crab legs with shrimp. I got egg added to mine. Oh, she got egg added to hers too. I said never again. I don't like the egg with the seafood boil, but yeah, I just didn't film. I have a moisturizing mask on right now, which you really can't. You can see a little bit, but it's this Origins moisturizing mask. You keep it on for 10 minutes and your skin is like a baby's booty. So yeah, I'm actually about to get ready for bed in a minute. I'm probably gonna eat a gummy. So I won't be up all night because y'all know I took that late uh, nap today. Oh, I'm opening up a package from Satire. They had a 10% off sale last week, I believe it was. And I got something so exciting. Y'all would have seen these very, very recently. Saint Laurent. Saint Laurent. Ooh, what did I get? I got the brand new Saint Laurent earrings. Y'all know I bought these for Jennifer for her birthday. I actually wanted them myself when I first saw them. Oh my God, they're so pretty and the size is so nice. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at that. Look at that. So it says YSL logo with the circle. So I paid full price for Jennifer's. These I found on Satire for. I saved about... So I saved about like $350 by buying them on Satire. Yeah, they're $9.60 plus tax or $9.80 plus tax in the St. Laurent store. On Satire, they were six something plus 10% off. Mm, mm, mm. Mm -hmm. And yes, everything on Satire is 100% authentic. Oh, so look cute. Add these to my designer earring collection. Y'all know I don't have a lot of designer earrings. So I have those. I have Chanel studs. I have little tiny Christian Dior hoops. And I have the infamous, the ones that everybody has, LV hoops. So now I'm going to be able to add these. Oh, I love them so much. And they look so cute with this hair, even though this hair is about to come off. This hair is on its last leg. I said I was going to try to revamp it, re... Child. I'll give y'all a close-up. It don't even look bad, bad, but... It's, it's definitely out of there. It's... I still got compliments on it today. Even though I'm talking... Saying that it don't look good. I got compliments on it today. I'm like, girl, thank you. You like it today at a week and a half old, you would have loved it day one. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's Monday. I have been working all morning, editing, going through emails, replying to emails, working. That's why I love calling Mondays, money making Mondays. And Mondays always set the tone for the week. When I wake up and make my bed up, my bed is like halfway made. It's made, but it ain't like, I don't have all my pillows on my bed. Um, when I wake up and just really get my day started working, it sets the tone for the week. I don't know about you, but yeah, for me, that's what happens. Um, 
Mondays, I don't go to the gym early. I usually go to the gym a little bit later in the day, which is what I'm gonna do today. But like for the rest of the week, like tomorrow, Wednesday, I can wake up, go to the gym. I just feel like if I wake up and go straight to the gym on a Monday, something in me is like off. I feel like I have to wake up and start working. Anyways, it's one o'clock right now, so I'm about to um, make something to eat. I don't know if I want avocado toast or if I just want some little chicken out the air fryer, just some pro straight protein. It depends on how this avocado is. Oh, my refrigerator just went, made a weird noise. Anyway, I have this avocado that I bought last week. It's probably bad, but we're gonna try and see. Cause y'all know avocados, baby, four days tops in it. That's it, that you buy it really hard. Oh, it's not, maybe cause it's been in the refrigerator for the whole week. It's not bad. Oh, it's not bad at all. Okay, we're eating avocado toast for our first meal. Yes, I have not had avocado toast in a minute. Do I want coffee at 1 p.m.? That is the question. Dutch Brothers? so weird why did i just smell a bread out of a brand new pack of uh out of a brand new loaf i'm so big on smells i'm just like it ain't nothing smell even a little bit funky uh what was i saying child that age will be making you have a brain fart because what the hell i was saying something before i mentioned me smelling the bread Y'all, I am in talks. Oh my God. Working out one of the biggest sponsorships. A very big sponsorship from a company that we all know and love. Ah, y'all. I should have my answer in just a few. Like, by the end of the afternoon, like, afternoon time. It's so crazy. It's so crazy. They've been working this deal for me for like, whoo, maybe two weeks now. Ah, uh, and it's about to go through. Oh, I'm just so blessed. I'm so blessed. I'm so blessed. I always tell you guys, it's so much thanks to you guys for the loyal love and support. I just, I would not have these opportunities if it was not for you guys. So thank you guys so much for like, just always rocking with me. Even if I put out a boring video in my eyes, y'all are like, Gina, no, we love it. We love the relatable stuff, the, th the stuff that you think is boring or mom content. So I I really love, I really love uh, y'all for that. Thank you so much. So, oh, I just can't wait to announce it. I was just like, me? Me? imposter syndrome imposter syndrome is a real thing y'all i'm gonna leave that one piece in there to keep it let it stay warm imposter syndrome is a real thing i um especially with me i just always am like me me i don't create i'll tell you all the time i'm not a content creator to me i don't create content i film my life and i edit it sometimes i might make it silent with like cute music playing in the background but like real content content like i just i don't do that i don't look at myself as a content creator i'm a vlogger but to have like company like this even any of the all of every like i've worked with some really big companies some really really big ones i don't know every time i'm just in awe whenever a new company reaches out and it's like oh my god like i love your products i love you i spend my own coin with you for years and you want to work with me it's always just mind-blowing so 
It's so cool. I should have fried an egg to put on top of here to really make it thirsty. Do y'all like smoked salmon? I love a good piece of smoked salmon on a bagel, on a piece of toast, a cracker. I need to buy some. Mm -mm -mm. And then I'm gonna sprinkle it with everyday bagel seasoning to give it a little crunch. And then sriracha. This is just regular, regular degular sriracha. Nom, 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 like so good. I'm texting my sister, just that random, I love you. I do that to my kids. I do that to my friends. Tina, just a random I love you so you don't ever regret. Whenever I'm not here anymore, that person isn't here anymore, there will never be a regret that I didn't say I love you enough or you mean enough. Like, I write my boyfriend just cards. We write each other cards all the time. Like, we send each other, like, love notes through the phone and we write each other physical cards. Like, we both have huge stacks of cards that we've given to each other. And just expressing appreciation, love, thanking somebody, just anything. Like, I just be thanking Jennifer, like, thank you for being a friend. Like, thank you for being a I, I'll text Nene, like, just, girl, I love you. I miss you. I love, I just want to let you know I love you. You know, so I just think those little um, those little gestures are really important, especially if you've had you've experienced loss, sudden loss. Um, you just know how it is. It's just like, damn, I wish our last conversation was a little bit longer. I wish our I said I loved you more. I wish I hugged this person more, you know, so. That's what we were just doing. We just, I just texted her and said, I love you so much. She was like, I love you too, so. And then my sister got me about a year ago. Just some white pants. I am wearing some flat white sandals. They're still available. I'll link them down below, but I did buy these summer of 2023, so they probably not. Yeah, thank you. Because like, I felt it coming. Okay. What are we cheers into? Cheers that come out the group chat. Yeah. Crazy boy. I have not been here in so long, but after the kids practice, we pass by and I'm like, oh, U turn, we're about to stop. So they're having a sale. All of their tops are three for 10. Their um, bottoms are two for 10. Swimwear, if it's a single piece, just hanging like this, then it's $5 each. Or if it's a two piece hanging together, it's $5. So this teeny bikini is five dollars this is a bikini with the squirt the skirt five dollars so i'm about to look i've already looked through the shoes they didn't have anything in the shoe section okay paula abdul you ain't taking my check i saw paula abdul recently she still looks so freaking good but anyway yeah so i'm about to uh search around oh, i got a piece so i'm not gonna be here for that long so but we're gonna look and see if we can find us some uh some good things look at this this kimono on the beach five dollars that's so pretty i might need to get that i have so much swim stuff it's insane all right let me show y'all what i got from crazy boss uh, uh, uh. my receipt <clears throat> so this two pack yes Y'all know I love me some scrunchy socks. Two pack of scrunchy socks for $1.99. A six pack of Hanes socks. It had the little clip on here, the little thing, but it broke. But anyway, they brand new. Ain't nothing used up in there. A six pack of Hanes socks for $2.99. A pair of wide leg trousers. What brand is this? It says Taria by Andrea Pitter. Taria by Andrea Pitter. Child, I ain't never heard of it. But anyway, just some wide leg, really long. They look to be long enough, hopefully. Everything at Crazy Boss is final sale. Um, they do have a dressing room. I just chose not to use it. I just held it up to myself. 
They look like they'll be long enough and it looks like it won't be any gapping in the back. I don't know. It has a little, anyway, these were $7. All the pants, all bottoms were um, two for 10 or if you just bought one, it was seven. So I only bought one. These were $7. The tops were three for 10 or $5 each. So I just got, this was like my last minute thing that I just grabbed. I don't even know how it's gonna fit or look. It's just a black sleeveless bodysuit. I feel like you can't have too many of these. It's a nice double line thick material. It almost, if it, it really feels like my Zara, um, my Zara tank tops. It's really nice and thick. So I got that. Then I just got this little brown top. Wear with like some brown wide leg gaucho pants or something. It's just a little crop top, a little brown. Brown little crop top, nothing special. Like, it's like a basic, you know? Then I got this one for vacation. This is a top. <laughs> I have a few of these. So the way you wear these is you put it on your back. You put it behind you like this and then you bring it up like that. Bring this up like that. And then you could bring the straps around and like tie them around your stomach. You could wear it so many different ways, but I already have a few of these. So now I have a cream one. And so, yes, those three tops for $10. And then the swimwear was all $5 each. So this is a one piece that I got. I like the cutout in the middle and then it's high rise on the leg and then it's like Brazilian cut in the back. So I thought that was cute. And this is just a mint green solid bikini, mint green. I love the bathing suits that tie on the side. So yep, this was $5 and I'm so glad. I did not buy that bathing suit from Target today. I was on Target.com and if all of their swimwear and sandals are 30% off and I was going to buy two of their solid color bikinis. I have it in my cart and I'm glad I did not check out. I got a whole bikini for um $5 and I was going to pay, what, $8.50 times two? $17 plus tax? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. That's cute, and I don't have any of these colors. I already have brown, but I don't know. It's something about a brown bikini that I really like. I love, actually. Then a chocolate brown one, and they're all adjustable. Oh, these have the scrunch booty, if you can see. They're just adjustable. This was the best deal out of all of them because it's the bikini and the cover-up. So it has this little sun pattern sun pattern and then the cover up skirt you can wear it as a skirt or you can put it on your head and wear it bandana you know either way i might wear it as a bandana around my head i will never ever 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 pay more than i've never paid full price for swimwear ever the most i've probably paid for swimwear um i have some swimwear on the way from plt my sister sent me a link she was like this piece of swimwear would look so cute on you and i went ahead and ordered them um and i want to say each piece was like 14 dollars each 15 dollars each so a 30 dollar bikini that's very few and far between because most of my bathing suits are a one-time wear that's why I said I was going to start getting more um, just solid color uh, bikinis because it'll go with more stuff. And if I take pictures in it, no one, will, no one will really remember a solid black bikini, a solid brown bikini. You'll remember this, though. But it was only $5, so it don't matter, you know? So anyway, I do have my vlog uploading. My vacation vlog. I hope to put that out tomorrow. Not I hope. I am going to put it out tomorrow for sure. I'm trying not to put sponsorships in my travel vlogs anymore. I don't know if you guys noticed, but in my last two travel vlogs, they do not have sponsorships in them. I want my travel vlogs to be just like nice and clean and seamless. So, yeah. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm about to finish listening to this podcast and take me a shower and just wind down. I did not work out today. 
So I have to get up tomorrow and I have a lot of errands to run tomorrow. So I, I, I really need to go to the gym, like no excuses. These pants that I got fit so good. They're long enough. There's no gapping in the back. They fit nice and wide leg how they're supposed to fit. And y'all, I Googled this brand because I'm like, I've never heard of Taria by Andrea Pitter. So she's a black fashion designer. And this line, she does a collab with Amazon. So this is from her collab with Amazon. They're hella wrinkled. They need to be steamed like very badly. But they fit so good. And it's by a black girl. She's like all inclusive like with her sizing her lengths and everything so yeah i went to her instagram and everything i was like this is that's that's so cool and i found it at crazy boss for seven bucks you know so but uh i'm about to hang this actually i'm not about to hang this up i'm about to put that right there until tomorrow i'm not gonna hang that up right now Tomorrow is the last Rockets game of the season, and I want to take the kids, but I don't think it's a good game. It's Orlando Magic, and it's the last game of the season, and I don't think the Rockets have been doing like... They've been doing good, but I don't think they've been doing like just amazing. I could be wrong, though. I need to ask the kids, but... Yeah, I've been thinking about seeing if I want to look tomorrow to see if the ticket prices have went down for um, floor seats. I checked two days ago and now I just checked tonight and the prices haven't went down. There's just less floor seat tickets available right now. Let me tie my hair up because y'all, I am keeping this wig on for another day. Tomorrow is going to be D-Day for me of taking this wig off. I have to wake up in the morning. I have a, um, I have a Zoom meeting in the morning so I don't wanna have to deal with my hair. I wanna be able to take all this off put a shirt on and then do my meeting real quick. So one more day of the sliding back wig. I wanna do my red wig again. I wanna do my, uh, my red wig and do like a deep swoop over behind my ear and then bone straight. Like, I don't know why that's been on my mind to do for like, the past two, three days. I'm like, I want to do red bone straight with like a swoop, kind of like how Ice Spice wears her hair whenever she goes to like an award show. Y'all know she don't really switch it up. She either wears her hair curly or bone straight with a swoop. Oh, this is actually kind of cute if I pin this up. That's actually kind of cute. But yeah, so that's the plan. I might do that. I might not. I don't know. When you wear red hair, you're very limited on like your outfit choices because Yo, the color of your outfit has to complement your hair. So it's like, do I want to wear all black? It can go with tans and neutrals. But red hair with like blue, yellow, orange. I don't know. I just don't think that would be a really, really good look. It is 120. I need to lay down turn this tv off and make myself go to sleep like it's crazy how i be forcing it out i ain't take no nap during the day nothing but your girl is like still i'm wide awake for some crazy reason good morning y'all i have a meeting that i have to get on in a few minutes and then I'm going straight to the gym after. That's the plan. Well, depending on how long the meeting is, the kids want me to buy them food and then drop it off at school. But Ethan's, um, Ethan's lunch starts in less than an hour. So, yeah, I don't know how that's going to work. They're only going to see me from the neck up. So that's why I'm putting this on. Usually I put a blouse on for my meetings, but mm -hmm. this is fine. Yeah. I got my purse. I got everything ready to just leave out the door after it's over. Happy Tuesday, y'all. Does it look like I just woke up? Or do I look refreshed? Mm. Yeah. Oh, I eat right now. Is, is it? <laughs> of course. 
so travel fashion mm-hmm. you, but more mm-hmm. than that you're just trying to connect with your audience oh they, you ever- they actually reached out to me recently yeah yeah absolutely um we can definitely talk more about that but um i do want to get to your existing brand deals so y'all so i'm in my little notebook that i keep right here on my desk um after my meeting and i was taking notes and usually what I do, I just like I'll flip to just like a random page in the middle and just jot down notes while I'm in my meetings and stuff. I don't know what made me go to the first page. Well, second page to start taking notes. And look what, look what was written in here. And she wrote it back in December. Oh, Ashen is so cute. I just sent a picture of it and sent it to her. I was like, oh. She's like, oh yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> oh. Okay. Let me pull that out. Oh, okay. This was a really good meeting. I got a lot of notes and stuff that I need to take care of. We um we all about getting the big brand deals for this year, baby, okay? Okay, people see the, the, the growth and they see the shine in me. I need to start seeing it more in myself. Lord. Anyways, let me go. Uh, I need to go work out and it looks like it's about to start storming. It looks so dark outside. It's I wish this darkness of bad weather would bring some type of cool weather to us. Yeah, it's supposed to be in the upper 80s and 90s all week long. It's April. Don't they say April showers bring May flowers? Where's the rain? Where's the cold front? Please give me some 60 or 70 degree weather for a day. Something. Y'all wanna know what's crazy? I still have a small bruise on the bottom of my foot. Let me see if y'all can see it. It's on the bottom of this right foot. Uh, uh, there it is. I had like four of them. Four little blue like dots in like a circle. Yeah, so it's just crazy that my trip was over a week ago. Today's Tuesday. We did that hiking not last Saturday, but the Saturday before that. And for me to still have pain, like I'm, y'all, if y'all watched the vlog, y'all would have seen the struggle. Look, that vlog is actually going out today. But yeah, y'all would have seen the struggle. That was some horrible pain. Jennifer says she got bruised on the bottom of her feet too. Okay. Cute little outfit, Nike top, Halara leggings. And then y'all saw my cream, or cream Air Max. We're doing the neutrals today. I do not feel like working out today. I don't know why I feel so lazy today. Um, I, maybe it's because of the weather, I'm not sure. But I don't feel like going to the gym, but I'm gonna go. But I'm probably only gonna do 30 minutes. So 30 minutes is better than nothing. That's what I always have to tell myself, like, at least you went. Probably more than half of America didn't work out today, but you went. Why well, I forgot to bring my edge band. So even though I'm sweating, I'm trying not to sweat like too, too, too much. Cause baby, this wig gotta last the rest of the day. Huh, and we already about an inch and a half sleep bag. When they say third time's a charm, baby, third time's a charm. So, it's been time for my uh, for the Range Rover to get an oil change. I always dread this. Every year I dread it just because <sighs> I usually just go to the dealership to get my oil changed because it's like it's just easier. You set an appointment and yeah, they'll give you a loaner car. Sometimes you can sit in there and they be having all type of snacks and cappuccino machines. Anyway, but. The cheapest oil change is $800. You heard me correct. The cheapest oil change, which was a year ago, was $800. The year before that, 
I think it was like six or seven hundred dollars. The one they always try to recommend you to get is, of course, the highest one, which is about fifteen, sixteen hundred dollars. Ain't no way am I paying that amount of money for service, oil change, tire rotation, and topping off fluids. Y'all can go to hell. I, I will not. So, anyways, I'm like, let me see who can change my my uh, oil. So I went to Walmart first. They were like, no, we don't do Range Rovers. Then I went to 10 Minute Oil Change. They said, we don't do Range Rovers. Well, their, their words weren't, we don't do Range Rovers. The One of them said, we don't have that type of oil. Then the other one said, we don't have that filter. So anyways, so the guy there, he said, try Jiffy Lube. He said, it's a few other ones down the street that they may service you. Pulled up a Jiffy Lube. They were like, ooh. We gotta check and see if we have the oil in the filter. They check, they're like, we got it. And y'all, my oil change was only $120. $120, that's it. I've been paying almost a thousand. Oh, oh. Then he came back, you know, you can't just get your car, your oil change in your car. It's always, they find something wrong, okay? Every single time. The man in front of me, they were like, it's time for your tires to be changed. Then me, they were like, your AC filter. He, he took it out, brought it to me. I said, is it almost time for it to be changed or is it time? He said, oh, no, it's time. It's past time. I said, well, how much is it? He said, $40. I said, go ahead and do it. Go ahead and do it. I'm not even mad. Go ahead and do it. Because even with that, it brought my total up to like $190. That's still a fraction of the cost of what I would have paid to Range Rover. Anyway, so now I know Jiffy Lube will be able to take care of me and I will save a few hundred dollars. Yes. Okay, we're at Target now. I needed a new printer. So that's what I got. This printer was $112 marked down to $69. And it's black and it's sleek. Not like it's even going to be out to be displayed, but it's black. And I like the way it looks. I have been wanting these slippers for the longest. I think I just need to order them online. That's what I need to do, Target.com, because I never think about them, but then I see them every time I come in the store, and they only have extra large or smalls, and my feet is a medium size. I'm a nine, so I need a, either a medium or a large slipper. Let's see if they got any new... Uh, Summer sandals. Ooh, y'all done killed the sandals. That's it, that's all. That's all that's left. Oh, because they're 30% off. That's why. Okay. This kind of cute. Y'all know anything denim is for me. I think that's real cute. These are cute. These are really cute. How much are they? Oh, it's my size too, and they're $29. <sighs> Y'all tell me I don't need them, because I don't. I don't need them. I don't, I don't. Walk, Gina. Walk. This is a cute little springy shoe. I wish the heel was just a tad bit higher. I think with a shoe like that, because y'all know I'm all for a little kitty meow meow kitten heel, but because the shoe looks so youthful, if it's a really youthful shoe, I don't think that the heel needs to be that low because then it just looks like it's for a preteen. You know what I mean? If that makes sense. But like a sexier shoe or a pointy toe shoe, I don't mind that low, low heel. Maybe it, it makes sense in my head, okay? For instance, these. They're pony toe, they're clear, they have a low heel. I'm okay with that because it's more grown in the front. Maybe I'm weird and crazy, I don't know, but it makes sense in my head. These are cute. Capri, that's Italy, right? I don't know, I could be wrong. But I like them, they cute, and they're 30% off. How cute is this, this little cream set? These trouser pants are on sale for 50% off. They're $15. With the cropped matching blazer. $22. Why this one not half? Why this one not half off too? This is this is cute. I 
I just need to get the pants taken in and that's it. They're actually long enough, which is crazy for Target. These are just pull-on. I can already tell. Pull-on pants is not gonna work. It needs a zipper. four inches too short. Dinner, open-faced sandwich. I do have the other piece of toast right here. I'm not going to. I'm just going to do open-faced. Mm. So good. Mm -mm -mm. that off y'all jennifer just uh left from over here she said it's a cake lady that works out at her gym so she brought us slices of the cake lady's cake i said girl you know i'm on a diet she was like i know that's why you're not getting a piece i said bitch if you think you're leaving here without giving me a piece you got something that's coming to you so this is my piece which ethan already i already said told ethan to eat some but it's just plain pound cake that's how that looks this is Ethan's. He got banana pudding pound cake. And Ashton's. Oh, she started eating hers too already. She got strawberry lemon. I see some little bite marks taking out of hers. Jenna, she just, Jenna just left. This gonna be so good. I said, oh girl. My weakness is not like candy or ice cream, popsicles. My weakness is pastries. Give me a good piece of cake, coffee cake. Child, that's that's my weakness. Oh my God, my hair looks hey, crazy. I need my bands in my hair. I'll look better. Hi, guys. What are you recording for? It's time for you to go to bed. I'm not tired. It doesn't matter whether you're tired or not. I'm going to be up all night. I, did, I took a nap, a big old nap. Who told you to do that? My body. Mm, touche. It's bedtime. You, I don't like it has that filter. It just makes your face so smooth like a butt. I like it. I wanted to show. Give me the, give me the smooth baby butt face. No, I wanted to show my skin. My skin is already good. You do have good skin. Yeah, I don't like that. That makes me look so fake. I look like an AI. Oh my god. Anyway, anything interesting happened in school today? 
Mm -hmm. There was a fight. Oh, God. There was three fights today. And then after the buzz, these girls was going at it. They was going ham. Baloney. They probably going to fight at school tomorrow. Because they're both like little Indian girls. And one of them said the N-word. And then she got One of them said the N-word. Yeah. And so literally, this is the thing So I you hate. said they were both Indian girls. So one Indian girl called another Indian girl the N-word. Yeah, this is the thing I hate though. The Indian girl walked up to the big group of black people, which is me, Ethan, Raylan, and Maya, and she said, this girl said the N-word. Like, like, we all look at each other like, okay, like, we don't care. Like, just because we black, I don't care if anyone say the N-word. Like, she ain't say it to me. Yeah, because your daddy say it all the time, and he ain't black. Uh, yeah, exactly. He ain't say it to me. <laughs> she ain't say it to me. Like, what are you talking about? I don't care. Like, we were all like, we expect this to do. And then Ethan and Maya was like, was like, Fight her, fight her, fight her. Y'all gotta fight? <laughs> they were telling you to fight? No. Oh, they were instigating the, the two girls. Yeah. Mm. And then also, like, I was playing did, around. Like, did like, you learn anything interesting today? No, we were on the same. <laughs> no. Oh, my God. We're in the same units. Uh. Oh, and so, like, like we were playing around, like, like in the beginning, nothing happened. But Mommy saw the video of them girls arguing, and it yes, was, it was me a video. wild. The girl that was getting mad at the girl for saying the N-word, it was, it was at, I think that's when they got stabbed. Sorry, y'all. We watching something, and oh my goodness. Mm -mm. Okay, so basically, the girl that got mad at the other Indian girl for saying the N-word, like, they was going at it, and so, because... The girl that's getting mad at her. So the girl that didn't say it, and we're, we're going to call her Cynthia. That's not her real name, but I don't know their names. We're going to call her Cynthia. And then the girl that said it, and we're going to call her Bailey. Okay. So Cynthia was over here getting mad at Bailey, not because she said the N-word. Also because... They came... They started hugging each other, and they came around and started pulling each other. So it was like... Mm. Mm, like they were just pulling each other's hair, but like they were hugging. Okay, that's enough. Like it was that's crazy. A, that's, Bye guys. That's that was it. That was everything. Oh, hey y'all, oh y'all are crooked. It's later in the day, y'all. I've been editing for over four hours now. I just finished. That's how I need to start doing most of my editing. My work is to just have my mindset that it's a full editing day. Usually what I do, I edit a bit, little bit on Monday, a little bit on Tuesday, a little bit on Wednesday, and the video's ready for Thursday. But getting it all done, I, I feel accomplished. Took my whole morning, uh, some of the afternoon, cause I think it's what, three o'clock? A little bit after three right now? Yeah. 3.15, I'm about to eat my first meal of the day, just some soup. Yeah, so work is done. Today is the day, I remember I told you guys I got invited to my very first influencer event here in Houston. So today is the day, it is tonight, so I'm excited about that. And it's with Family Guy, the TV show Family Guy. Isn't that kind of cool? Yeah, so they have a pop-up experience type thing here. Um, yeah, so I'm excited about that. I'm bringing my girl Drea with me. I thought that this would be nice. Both of our first times experiencing an influencer event. We can hopefully network, meet some people, and maybe get invited to more events in Houston. So I actually have another one. I told you guys I, I was invited to another one on Saturday too. So the one on Saturday is with um, a skincare company. So I, I should be vlogging that day. So we'll talk about that in that vlog because it probably won't be in this vlog. So... So after I eat this soup, I'm gonna start getting ready. Oh, did it bust? I did the peel off lip liner stain again. Y'all know I did it in Costa Rica. And I don't feel like I had left. Why oh, I saw dark in the corners. I don't feel like I had left it on long enough in Costa Rica. So this is how it looks. I've had it on for like 23 minutes, maybe. 
Hmm. Hmm. Let me just put this lip gloss over top of it, see how it looks. Okay, that's cute. Let's see how long it lasts. I feel like I need to get my lips plumped again. <laughs> Every time they go down, I'm like, mm, my lips are small again. But anyway, this size looks with just some uh, lip gloss on it. Not bad, not bad. I'll link it down below. Y'all know I'll link everything down below. This was from um, Amazon and uh, Influencer. Influence the Influencer. Uh, I was watching my girl Sophieology. She, she said that she usually wears hers when she doesn't wear makeup. So at least her lips will pop when she has a bare face. So anyways, I have on just this straight yakky wig. Don't ask me where it's from because I don't remember. I don't, I don't even remember. I've reviewed so many straight yakky wigs with so many different companies. <laughs> I don't remember what's what. But these are my earrings that I got. Did I show I did show y'all these, I think. I think. My earrings from Satire. Y'all know I got Jennifer these same earrings for her birthday. I paid full price for hers. I bought them from St. Laurent. Satire had them for like 300 and something dollars cheaper. Right now, they're still three hundred something dollars cheaper. I, I will have the link for these down below for sure. You guys need these. Look how big they are. They're so cute. I'm wearing my Saint Laurent T-shirt. This is from Satire also. This was like a eight hundred dollar T-shirt that I got for like four hundred dollars. Satire is that girl. I'm just if y'all don't shop at Satire, what are you doing? Who pays full price for designer? Who pays full price for designer? I do sometimes, but I try not to, okay? If we can save some coin and still get the uh, the thing that we like, huh, baby, I'm doing that, okay? Getting the complaint. They retaliated against the teacher who brought it to their attention on a high school campus recruiting prostitutes from her students to work for her son as their... I'm so so glad it is nice and cool outside. It feels to be like a nice little, mm, a little windy 70 degrees. Y'all see I got the Beyonce wind. Oh, no, this more than Beyonce wind because when the lashes start flapping, Lord. I ain't never been to this little area of Houston. This is different. Drea's parking, so it's nice to be at an event. Everybody has their cameras out. Like, I don't feel weird recording because everybody's recording so i love this this is really oh lord i'm next i'm gonna have to let somebody go in front of me hi girl what's up yeah end up messing with it is it's kind of ducked off yeah it's yeah. really ducked off yeah love yours Ugliness and a success. Hear my words and listen to my signal of distress. I grew up in the city and know sometimes we had less compared to some of my niggas down the block. Man, we were blessed. They are jamming. Y'all drink number three for the free free. Cause pain still lingers on mine. On the road to riches, listen, this is what you find. The good news is, nigga, you came a long way. The bad news is, nigga, you went the wrong way. The green is better, life that's better than yours. No such thing as life that's better than yours. Think being broke is better, life that's better than yours. No such thing, no such Yo, that event was so nice. I did not know what to expect, but it was such a good, fun experience like it was so cool i could just hope that i get invited to many many more um definitely met some cool people 
and just the experience as a whole, hanging out with Drea and just get to, getting to experience my first influencer event. Like, yeah. So anyways, I'm headed to pick the babies up. We are back in mom mode. <laughs> it don't stop. It may have stopped for two, three hours, but that's it. Than the other, and I was feeling that it was like right in front of my face. So it, it was either that, or I would have cut my hair. So because when I was at what's it now? Uh, Claudia's this house. girl. This girl. I was at Claudia's house. My hair was uneven, so I just Shh. cut it. Who gave you scissors? Oh, I just cut it. Oh, like the littlest bit. This girl just came here. Mom, when are we gonna put my hair in a puff? I said, Oh, the puff that I put your hair in yesterday morning that you looked in the mirror and said, Take it down. Yeah. That puff. That exact puff. That exact puff. Okay. It was yesterday. Of course Are I... Are the same scent? What? These two? Yes, that's a travel. One's a travel scent and one's the... This one's amazing. That's the... Uh, wait, she's wait, talking wait. about the Beyonce perfume. Well, you wear this one all the time, right? This smells... Not just spraying my Beyonce perfume, girl. Oh. Ma'am. You like oh, it? It smells so good. You need to give me one of these perfumes. You I'm gonna take one? these two. You're not even gonna wear them. I bought this girl. Let me just see what they smell like. Actually, I do Be wear careful. that. I do wear that perfume you gave me. That one that you gave me? Yes, I do. Um, when? Um. You always smell like your Bath and Body Works lotion, but not perfume. Oh yeah, I do. Oh. Cause Man. you gave me, you gave me like four things of Bath and Body Works. You know what I want? You know what perfume I want? I want Sol de Janeiro perfume. Oh, you want that? Oh, that's what I need. Have that's you smelled so, it before? I need every single set of Sol de Janeiro. And they're so expensive. Like, the tiniest bottle is like 34 freaking dollars. Do you have Sol de Janeiro? You know I do. Of course. I got everything. Ugh. Ooh. Yeah, this is my favorite. You know, the perfume of this one, they, they stopped selling that one. And that my is? friend has it, and so I was using a lot of it. And she was she was about to start crying. She said, she said, she said when the scent like stopped, she literally started crying. Hey, how do you open this? Pull that. There you go. Oh, it smells so good. Like, mm -hmm. that's my vacation lotion. I try I to be some, very careful. You I need that. some Sol de Janeiro. I need some of that. She sees it on TikTok and she wants it. I'll buy you some. I don't mind buying you some. You want the per? You said you want the perfume, or they don't sell the perfume anymore. The perfume. No, they don't sell that perfume anymore. Oh, that fragrance. That fragrance. Oh, I see. Come on, so we could do this puff. Rock rough and stuff with your afro puff. Excuse me. Ew. Okay, y'all, let's open some packages. First one, Nordstrom. They had a sale on their beauty stuff. They were 15% off at Nordstrom. So I got two more of the dior lip oils y'all know dior lip oil is my go-to love 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 i will link the dupe down below because let me turn this down some i love the amazon dupe but nothing compares to the to this oh okay i got a new color this color is called mahogany let's try it on I still have my lip liner on my lips, y'all. So leaving it on for longer, of course, makes it last longer too. Let's see what this looks like on my hand. It's looking rather clear. It ain't looking pigmented at all. I think I like mahogany. Hmm. I ain't had a Dior lip oil that I ain't liked, so. These are just the best. <laughs> All right, next color I got is cherry. Ooh, I like this color. It's like a hot pink. It, lo it looks like it's coming off corally on camera. It is not orangey at all. It is very pink. Next package, what is this? Oh, Shein. I forgot to order some from Shein. Do y'all say Shein or Sheen? I say Shein, my friend. Jennifer says Sheen. Okay, I don't even remember what I bought. Some little inserts for my um, air fryer. Next, I got this bracelet. 
Y'all see, it's like a square bracelet. This was about $2.50. I actually paid about $25 for this same bracelet from, I believe, J Lux label. The same freaking bracelet. And I think this one was like $2.99. Then I just got some silver bangles. There's another silver bracelet. I didn't realize until like a few weeks ago that I didn't have a lot of silver jewelry. So that's why I picked up all this silver stuff. Oh, just some, y'all hear it? That's Ethan screaming, y'all. He's on that freaking video game and he's been screaming like a banshee. Anyways, I just got some vacation earrings. They're just some dangly gold and green earrings. I got this geometric shape ring. What is this? It was probably like a dollar. Oh, that is pretty. Oh, that's a pretty ring. And it fits my little small fingers. Okay. Yes. We love that. These look cheap as hell. I ordered these. I don't remember ordering these. Maybe I did. Some green earrings. Maybe I did. They'll go upstairs with the rest of the vacation stuff. These not even that cute. Why did I order these? <laughs> this one don't look like the picture. Oh, this looked is so rich and nice on the model. I don't think I like this. And it's too big. I'm gonna have to look at it. Let me look at this picture. See how this ring looks on the model? Nice and big and like, then look how it look on me. It look like it's out of gum bomb machine. This is not cute. Something I did not need at all. Sunglasses. I got so many sunglasses I don't even wear. It's insane. These look kind of cute. Oh, these are cute. Oh, we like. There's a green theme going on. Green ring, green glasses, two pairs of green earrings. Like, I don't know what. Manifesting money, money green. Yes. These are cute. I like these. And I like that the lens is really light. brown sunglasses oh these are pretty third and, third and final pair of sunglasses what color did i buy what color what color are these oh this is like a is this army green is this green <gasps> they shipped me the wrong bracelet I'm looking at my order. I ordered the silver one. They sent me gold. Y'all see how dark they are? These are a dark, dark, dark green. Lastly, I got this two-tone bracelet. I already have this bracelet in silver and in gold, but now I got it in two-tone. This is really cute. Maybe she ends quality is so for this to be a two, three dollar bracelet, it's heavy. This might not be something I can show y'all. What, what do I order from Amazon? Oh, this is something I can show y'all. What is this? Oh, these are some leggings. My sister sent me the link to these. She said, these are the best leggings I have ever worn in my entire life. Those were her words. The best leggings she ever wore. We'll see. We're going to keep these on top of the package just in case I got to return them. Okay, then I got a phone case. Uh, Yolanda, who was on our trip, she had this phone case to where it was a phone case and a wallet. So this is the phone case, and you keep your cards in there. So it was $10 on Amazon. They had like four different colors. I just ordered the, I think this is like a titanium black gunmetal maybe. I don't know. 
But yeah, I bought this for to bring on vacation. So when I travel, I can just put my cards right here for easy access. Will I use it? I don't know. But it was $10 and I thought it was a cool idea. Lastly, we got Pretty Little Thing. I'm actually thinking about returning this and not even really opening it because if y'all would have seen earlier in this vlog, I did go to Crazy Boss and I bought a bunch of $5 bikinis. My sister, being the shopaholic like she is, we are definitely sisters. She sent me the link to these and was like, these will be so cute on you. You need to get them, get them. And I ordered them. Y'all have seen these infamous bikini. These have been on their website forever and they have the matching bandeau top. I just, first of all, the quality is giving terrible. Wow. These feel like they should be $5 bikinis. Honestly, truly. Wow, this is this is really like it doesn't even feel like bathing suit material. It's cute though. It's cute for the picture. That's how it looks for the top, which is nice. They look like they're full coverage bottom high rise, but <sighs> this is not gonna be no support. Zero. Oh my god. Okay, then I got it in green too. Then this one is a one piece. Let's see how this feels. This feels better. So this is the orange bathing suit. Isn't that cute? That is so curved. Then this is how the green one looks. Y'all have definitely seen this before. This has been on PLT's website for many years now. I hate that it's 50% off now. I ain't get mine 50% off. Mm. Mm. I have a lot of bathing suits in my basket. I want to get this one next. I think this one is so cute just for pictures. You can, this is, this is not to swim in. This is to take pictures in. That is so pretty. And it comes in white. Okay, that's it. That's the end of my haul. I'm gonna try these leggings on in a minute and see if it's really giving what needs to be gave. Usually anything my sister gives me, y'all be in love with. Y'all be like, your sister bought you that? Where is it from? Your sister bought you those glasses? Where are they from? Where's the outfit from? Where is that from? And I'll be like, my sister is a gatekeeper. She won't even tell me sometimes. Only reason I know about this is because she sent me the link and I ordered it. But when she buys me stuff, she don't tell me where it's from. She just be like, I bought you something cute. And I'll be like, okay, girl, thank you. So, yeah. Ugh, should I send this back? This is giving Kmart material. 